Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm back with a Halloween card. For my card today I'm going to do lots of die cutting using the small die of the month by Spellbinders. This month it's all about Halloween, there are many dies for $15 and you can play with it and create different uh, Halloween costumes. It also gives you a sentiment and let's take a quick look on what's included. So you will get the main body as well as the head and the hair. And then there are many dies for creating costumes, for uh, example, the bones, if you want to create a skeleton. There are these that create a little devil. There is a hoodie that you can add on top of, your, of the face if you want to. There is also a ghost costume and you also get hands, legs, and there is also a jack-o'-lantern that you can use to embellish your card. Now I use the dies to cut out everything from colored cardstock, but you can uh, cut out everything from uh, white cardstock if you want and just color it in with your markers. Now I'm going to put together one of the guys. This time I'm going with the um, skeleton costume, which I think it is really fun. I'm going to give him the hoodie as well as the black body. And then I'm going to stick on top all the bones. For that I'm using my white glue. This is the Nouveau Deluxe glue that I always use and love. But uh, you can also turn this into stickers. If you want you can uh, add a um, double-sided uh, adhesive at the back, run it through your die cutting machine and when you have all the pieces ready all you need to do is to just peel off the backing and you have everything like stickers. Now I don't do that because I always forget I just rush and start die cutting everything and then I'm um, stuck with my glue. But I really don't mind since Nouveau Deluxe dries completely clear so it's not a problem. It's just a little bit messier though. So this is where I started uh, putting together my ghost, but I remembered that my little guy doesn't have hands, so I'm going to give him some, which I have already cut out earlier. Now the skeleton guy is ready, I'm going to move on and complete uh, the ghost. They are really easy to put together, you can play with different colors. And uh, this is where I'm using my uh, blending tool and I'm going all around those guys, adding just a touch of vintage photo. I'm planning to do a background with Distress Oxide ink and I want to add this touch to everything so they uh, come together somehow. So I'm going to work on this watercolor paper, I'm going to create a background. This is one of my favorite background techniques when it comes to Halloween cards. I did it uh, before in previous years and I'm going to do it one more time just because it is my favorite. So I'm going to cut this down to size. I'm going to stick on top a circle, this is um, masking tape and it's going to be a moon later on. I'm going to make my favorite background when it comes to Halloween cards. So I did this technique before, but I'm going to repeat it for this card. Every year I have to do at least one card using this background. So first of all, I'm starting with a lighter blue and I'm going over the moon and just a little bit around it. I'm using Distress Oxide inks and I started with um, Broken China. I moved on to a darker color which was faded jeans and I'm also going to add a little bit of seedless preserves in an area. Now I always like to start with a very light application and then uh, go back and saturate. At the end I'm going to add a little bit of black all around the edges. And I'm going to call this uh, done. One of the favorite uh, things when I'm making backgrounds like this one is uh, when I get to peel off the moon from the center and you will see that it is going to look as if it is glowing. I'm going to color in my moon now, making sure that I will not lose that um, glowing effect that I have at the moment. So for that I'm going with fossilized damper and just a bit of um, vintage photo. I'm mixing it with water. First I'm going to apply in some areas of the moon some water, just clean water there. And then I will go back and just dab, dab, dab without color, making sure that I don't cover up the whole moon. Remember that you will find everything I'm using for this card linked down below. And now that my background is ready, I'm going to give some ground for my guys. For that I'm just tearing a little piece of paper, black cardstock, which I'm going to stick at the bottom of my panel. I find that this background is really versatile for any Halloween scene that you want to create. So for example, you can stick on top a um, haunted house. 
For this card, of course, I'm going with my guys here. I am going to stick them down by using my Nouveau Deluxe glue. And the one with the skeleton costume is going to hold the jack-o'-lantern. This is definitely a card for someone special. It's not a card that you can easily mass produce. And you can definitely add more kids with costumes on your scene. Now, of course, to finish off my card, I'm going to add the sentiment. For that, I die-cut the sentiment three times out of orange, green and purple cardstock, which are the three colors that I used for the legs and the pumpkin on my card. Now I am mixing up colors and trying to decide where each letter is going to go and then I'm going to commit and stick everything down. So here I'm going to stick the panel directly on top of my card base and I made my card base out of navy blue cardstock. As a finishing touch I'm using my shimmer pen and I'm going to add some shine on the letters and on different areas of these guys. It's quite difficult to catch that shine on camera but it really makes a difference in real life. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and that you got inspired. Like always you will find the full list of all the products that I used down below in the description area. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.